Hey, what's up, Gaborum? Michael Bodine here with another weekly teaching uh, for the SoulCon community. We are so thankful for you guys tuning in, and uh, I I'm thankful for another opportunity to um, be along this discipleship journey with you guys. So, you probably know the drill. I have got my second cup of coffee this morning right by my side. Uh, I'm going to pray us in and have a sip, and we're going to dive right in. Father God, we are always thankful for every opportunity uh, you give us to advance the kingdom and to deliver the gospel, God. Uh, may we always have ears, hearts, and minds uh, just ready to hear what you have for us, even when uh, it's something we don't want to hear. Uh, God, you are our sustainer and our everything, and uh, we just uh, ask for you to fill uh, this time and for it to be not my words, but yours. Uh, we ask this all in your name. Amen. Amen. So a little sip of coffee there. Um, I want to talk about, man, kind of right where I have been, uh, for a while and it's kind of seasonal, you know, the mountain and the valley. Um, but it is this journey of life knowing um, what we're supposed to be doing, knowing what our calling is advanced enough in our faith that we do feel like we regularly have direction from God, but also having daily, uh, sometimes hourly, uh, reasons, excuses, um, things that we justify in our mind that take us off course. And uh, that is a constant battle for me, a constant battle for my time and attention and where it needs to be, and I often uh, get yanked in directions that I was not expecting. And so uh, it becomes this frustration for me when I see things that I know I should be doing, and I, uh, I'm going to raise uh, the guilty right hand, I have allowed uh, good things sometimes, work things, other um, good worthy ob obligations of mine, to take me off course from where I need to be and where I need to be spending my time, my attention, and my focus. Um, and so I'm, I'm learning. It's a constant, uh, you know, just work in progress for me to learn those triggers. Uh, it's almost like spiritual spirit man triggers for me uh, when I see that I've neglected something or I feel too pulled in, in too many directions. Almost always the result of that, if I'm not intently focused on what I need to be doing, is uh, steps backward, is a failure to advance in, in my own personal discipleship. So I want to challenge you uh, as I, I go through this teaching to think about your daily life, think about the times that you feel pulled in different directions and, and how your response needs to be to that. We are called, we have this high calling, um, and we, you know, we read the book of James about suffering for Christ, and everything has a purpose, even the bad things. But then uh, we read uh, verses like Matthew, and, and I've had my word, my Bible here with me, Matthew 11, verses 28 through 30. Um, so if you have your Bible, turn there. Uh, Matthew 11, 28 through 30, it says, Come to me. All you who are, who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Well, we know that we aren't supposed to yearn for easy days. For me, I've almost learned that while I need rest, the easy days um, can be a pitfall. Uh, it can put me on autopilot. It can have me resting too much and not on guard. Uh, it can have me getting used to and yearning more for those easy times instead of waiting in anticipation for the next, um, the next place God wants me to grow. Uh, because the growth does not happen in the easy places, right? Uh, the mountaintops are nice. The views are great but the growth happens down in the valley. And so we have to keep that in mind. So, but there's that word easy right there in verse 30 of Matthew 11. And so um, I'm working on my mindset. I feel like this is all about mindset. It's not some magic 
spiritual potion. It's not a, uh, a light switch that's going to flip and it's just going to all make sense. It's a daily grind of seeing those easy moments, seeing those excuses that come up that get in the way of where God wants us to be as motivation. Um, yes, I'll be honest. I yearn for easy days sometimes because there are not many. Um, I struggle with my health. I struggle with my balance of time. Um, a lot of obstacles in the way of doing what I know I should be doing. And I can and have justified uh, to, to stay in some of that easiness, to stay on the mountaintop instead of diving into the valley where I needed to be. And so I'm learning, working on this mindset of turning those excuses, turning those easy moments, turning those I want to go on autopilot uh, moments into my motivation to turn and see where God wants me to be and what he wants me to be doing. It requires, um, how do I get here? How do we get here? Uh, I don't have, <laughs> man, I don't have a golden answer. I will say this, uh, as I see those triggers and I feel myself in those situations, um, I'm starting more and more to stop um, to evaluate, to pray and ask God, what, what should I be doing? Um, sometimes those busy moments actually cause me to stop the busy and pray, stop the busy and text my wife at work, um, stop the busy and check in with my fire team so that I can get refocused. Um, and sometimes it, it requires you to say no. I am very bad at that. I love being helpful. Um, I'm a pleaser kind of guy. And, um, you know, the word no does not come easily for me sometimes. And so in the balance of all of this and turning to what God wants us to do and not letting that busy rule our life, uh, sometimes the no is necessary. And a little caveat to the no is not now. Not everything on my to-do list has to be done in the next hour. Sometimes uh, things and people can wait but who we should never keep waiting is God, who has ordained every step of our life and has a plan for us. And we just need to show up in obedience every day. Uh, who we should not be saying no to are our families that we are called to lead. Um, I'm learning that there are these hints from my 17-year-old teenager when he, he wants to spend time with me. It's easy to tune those out if we're not intent and focused. Uh, it's easy to tune those out if we are easing into what we feel is easier in the moment. Spend time with your family. Check in with your wife. Ask her what she needs from you. What can I do for you today? How can I make your day easier? Um, there are certain things that we should regularly be putting on pause and hold so that we can focus where Christ wants us uh, to be and what he wants us to be doing, but not uh, not our faith and definitely not our family. And then it goes beyond that. I struggle sometimes uh, being involved in, in uh, church activities as much as I want to, serving as much as I want to, and it's often because of work obligations. It is okay to say, no, I can't meet that obligation today. I can get to it tomorrow. Uh, I've got this tonight. Uh, those times with your biblical community that God has placed you in are so important. And uh, we can easily let the excuses rule instead of seeing those excuses as a trigger and then becoming our motivation to turn back to what Christ has us to do for that day, that very moment. And uh, in the end, our lives are all about not missing any opportunity that he gives us to live for him, uh, to express who he is through how we live, uh, how we work with others, how we speak to others, and how we love others. So, brothers, I'm I'm so thankful for you tuning in uh, today and everyone else watching. Uh, tune in next Thursday for the next weekly teaching from your SoulCon teaching team. Love you guys.